What is going on guys, my name is Cliff, and before we get started with the commentary, the gameplay in the background that you're watching is a 60 gun streak by Hydra Good. He's using the AK-12 on the map comeback, so if you do enjoy the gameplay, make sure you go give him some love. His link will be in the description below, along with mine, so if you enjoy my commentary, feel free to come over and check out both of our channels. So what we're going to be talking about today is exams, finals, midterms, whatever you want to call them, because right now I have one more exam to go before I'm done for the semester and then guess what I get to do it all over again for another semester which is just fabulous and then the reason I really wanted to talk about it is because exams get people so stressed I mean I personally studied about 20 hours the weekend before my exams which it was just this past weekend and by the end of the day I was just out. I crashed on my bed with my textbooks surrounding me, all the papers and worksheets and homework that I've done throughout the semester that I've been studying for so long. And it was just so stressful for me personally. And I'm sure you can relate to this point, but everybody in my school posts status updates and stuff about how stressed they are for, um, for the exams. Oh my god, I have my my history exam tomorrow. I have my eco exam tomorrow. And I just find it like is that really the point of school? Is that what teachers and the people that run the school system want us to be thinking about? How stressed and always trying to plan ahead for the future? And then my AP psych teacher, um, he brought up a very interesting point about his idea for a perfect school system. And it involved a school system where there are no grades. Now, the reason he believes this would be the perfect school system is because then you are internally motivated to learn the subjects and everything else that you personally are interested in. And you don't have to worry about anything else because all you care about is what you love. And then versus us, you have to complete all of these different subjects and everything that you might hate and stuff like that, just so that you get into a good college so you can get a good job, so you can have a good life that you might not even enjoy. You might not like your college, you might not like your job, but it's all to get a good life. But during your life, you're just going to your job every day. I find it so interesting that he made a very good point about how it would be amazing if you could just study what you loved and then do that for your life. Because isn't that what life is all about, doing what you love? So, I mean, I find my, my psych teacher, he's an awesome guy. He went to a, um, a rock concert for the band Diarrhea. That's how cool he is. Um, but I think this concept is just fabulous, which um, gets me into my question that I wanted to ask you guys about what you, guys, what you think the school system should be. Now, you might be thinking this is a weird question to answer, but how do you think it should be run? Like, if you had a voice, if you were the SGA or the, yeah, the, the student person of the board of education for your um, your your um, school area what changes would you make if nobody could stop you I mean I'm not talking about like put vending machines in every hallway I mean would you reduce homework would you increase homework would you not make people take certain subjects just because you are forced to so if you don't like math you don't have to take math if you don't like science you don't have to take science only take what you want to changes like that i really want to know because maybe one day you will have the power to make that decision and then you can look back and say this is what i want i want this to happen i want this change now so leave that in the um the comment section below i i'm going to read them i'll respond to you I'll respond to all of you guys that leave one about that. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. It wasn't that long of a commentary, but it is something that I find very interesting. And um, I've, maybe that needs to be changed. So until next time, I hope you guys have a great day, a great week, a great month, a great year, and a great lifetime. And I will see you all later.